Okay, so uh, for our today's session, we have 2D rotation. <coughs> In our previous session, we have seen two-dimensional translation. Basically, what are transformations and we started with a bit of uh, 2D translation. So, in our today's lecture, we will be covering 2D rotation. Okay, so when I am trying to do 2D rotation, I will just depict it out here, X and a Y. Okay, so uh, this is my original point, P, X, comma, Y. Okay, on my 2D coordinate system. <coughs> And this is my final point that is P dash X dash Y dash. And as I can see my point is moving on the left hand side. So I am going from uh, right side to the left hand side in this particular direction. And if I am going in this particular direction, right, as we have discussed in the last lecture, Two dimensional rotation can be done into two types. One is anti clockwise, and the second one is clockwise. Yes, so I have got anti clockwise rotation and I have got clockwise rotation with me. Right, so now when I say I am moving from a right to a left hand side direction, that means I am going in anti clockwise rotation. I am doing an anti-clockwise rotation. Okay. So, uh, so this is the basic thing. So, now uh, for doing any type of rotation, what I want is uh, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. What I will be needing is, I will be needing something that we call as an angle. So, angle would be theta. Okay. So, uh, what will be given to us <coughs> would be the point or else any object px comma y and angle theta okay so this will be given to us using this i need to find out what will be the value of p dash x dash y dash so this is a question mark for us so this is what we are trying to find out okay so if we have uh, done till here and if we know this uh, we proceed further and I am going to draw this diagram again so that we start with the derivation. So it's x, a point P, x comma y, resultant x dash y dash. Okay, so This is angle theta. Okay. So, now we are going to make some, some assumptions. So, um, <clears throat> my first assumption would be I know this distance from a region to the point which I know actually. So, this distance is r. Okay. And how am I calculating that distance is very simple. I can form a triangle out here. I can get the value of r if I know x and y. Right, so this is one thing. Now, my second thing is I will form a triangle for this particular point as well. That's P dash X dash Y dash. Okay, so my second assumption is my point P X comma Y is making some angle with my X axis. My point P X comma Y is making some angle with my X axis. I am calling this angle as phi. Okay, so uh, assumptions are phi is the angle that is made by the point P x comma y with x axis. Yes, and r is nothing but uh, the distance of P x comma y from origin right so basically this is the hypotenuse if i can write that okay so this is phi and this is r so these are some basic assumptions that we have made now 
if I have made these basic assumptions and if you look at this particular triangle. So, I am making it green so that we understand this. And if I am taking this particular triangle, I know Px, y, I know the value of r, I know the value of 5, okay. So, can I write my value of x and y using some basic trigonometry as x is equal to r cos 5, y is equal to r sin 5, right, using this triangle. So, this becomes my equation number 1, this becomes my equation number 2, okay. So, uh, let's move ahead and if I am uh, going a bit ahead, then for p dash, now what will happen if I am solving this for p dash? So, for p dash, that is x dash y dash, how do I get the values in terms of x dash and y dash, right? So, now when I am taking this triangle into consideration, the one that is formed by p dash, x dash, y dash, I could see that there is an angle theta and there is also an angle phi. So, p dash, uh, so my point p dash out here is making an angle of theta plus phi with my x axis, right? So, when I am trying to write this, how will I write this? I will write this as for P dash, that is, oh, let me get this a bit down. So, uh, for P dash, that is X dash, Y dash, how can I solve it as? I will write it as X dash is equal to R cos theta plus phi. Right? So, x dash is equal to r cos theta plus phi. Similarly, y dash is equal to r sin theta plus phi. Okay? Yes? So, let's move ahead if I am done with this. So, now I will try to expand these equations and we pick up with x dash. x dash becomes r cos theta cos phi minus r sin theta sin phi, right, sin phi, sin theta, okay. Similarly, I can write down my y dash as, <coughs> so y dash will be r sin theta cos phi plus r sin phi cos theta using your basic trigonometry. Now, please look into this. x dash, y dash are the values to be calculated. Okay. Now, cos theta, cos phi could be calculated. Now, one value I can submit here and that is r cos phi. So, r cos phi could be substituted as which value x. So, I can write x cos theta, oh sorry. So, it is x cos theta minus, I can substitute here r sin phi. So, r sin phi will be substituted as y. So, it is y sin theta. So, this is from equation number 1 and 2. Okay. Now, similarly, when I want to write down my value, that is y dash. How do I write my y dash as? So, my y dash will be, I can substitute r cos phi as x. So, it is x sin theta plus r sin phi as y, y cos theta. So, this becomes my y dash. So, this is my x dash, this is my y dash again from equation number 1 and 2. Okay. So, what becomes my final values now? 
so my final values for x dash and y dash are so x dash is equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta and y dash is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta so this becomes my final equation for getting the values of x dash and y dash using angle theta yes and knowing the values of x and y so the knowns are out here i know x i know y i know the value of theta and using my trigonometry i am calculating the values of x dash and y dash okay so this becomes your rotation matrix but please do remember that this rotation matrix what we have solved or what we have derived right now as i have already told you this matrix that we have derived right now is for moving in anti clockwise direction okay so this is the matrix that we have written here that's for anti clockwise rotation so my theta here is going in anti clockwise direction okay and if my theta is going in anti clockwise direction that is this way it is positive so whenever it is given to you that rotate by angle theta where theta is equal to 45 degrees we suppose this is the question so 45 is positive here so by default you will be going in anti clockwise direction if nothing is mentioned to you okay but when uh, this is the case that <clears throat> if my theta is negative that means i am going in clockwise direction so the rotation that will be happening is in clockwise direction and for clockwise direction as i said my theta will be negative so how am i going to write it is <coughs> r with value theta some value as say minus 30 degree right so if theta given to you is minus 30 so rotate an object by minus 30 degrees so my we should know that my object is going to go in which direction in clockwise direction that is towards the right hand side if i am taking um, the first quadrant into consideration okay so so this is uh, all about your uh, uh, your uh, rotation and the final crux remains here itself so this is what you are supposed to remember when you are uh, uh, dealing with uh, rotation matrix okay thank you and uh, for our next lecture we'll be having problems on transformations and also scaling